Apple CEO Tim Cook has already promised new products in 2014. Now there are reports of a new Apple battery. A Sunday New York Times article says the tech giant has been trying for years to build a smarter battery. And for its much-rumored iWatch, this is a concept, Apple is reportedly considering a variety of solutions. The first, magnetic induction. You've seen this with the Nokia Lumia. It's simply putting the device in a magnetic plate to repower. But solar, another method the Times reports Apple is testing, would allow users to keep wearing the iWatch. We know Apple's interested in solar tech because of this report back in September of last year. As for how it might relate to the iWatch, reports indicate solar cells could be embedded in the wearable device's glass screen. This would likely be a secondary charging source. The last potential method is based on a 2009 patent. With it, Apple could create a charging system that harnesses your movement to repower the iWatch. That said, former Apple VP Tony Fidel, who recently sold his new company to Google, told the New York Times companies shouldn't try to reinvent the battery. Hoping and betting on new battery technology to me is a fool's errand. Don't wait for the battery technology to get there because it's incredibly slow to move. And he's got a point. Apple's improved its chips and upgraded its digital displays. But Apple has increased iDevice battery life using more efficient processors rather than entirely new batteries. VentureBeat seems pretty unfazed by the iWatch report, saying essentially Apple will figure it out. Apple has gained a reputation for solving significant device challenges through a combination of thoughtful design and innovative new technology. And as the wearable market takes shape, you can bet Apple's competitors will keep a close eye on how it solves the battery issue. But with no wearables or wireless charging devices yet to speak of, Apple's going to have to play catch up. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.